continue to protest. You're more than welcome to. The protests follow a now all too familiar pattern. Campaigners are warned to move away from the entrance to let vehicles in. If they refuse, they're dragged or carried away. Be gentle. Ian Conlon from Moulton has been moved on several times, but says he won't be deterred. Every day we will come here, every day and do the same thing over and over again until fracking is banned. Our local doctor has said he doesn't want his children living here. He doesn't want his children living here because of the health risks. Eddie Thornton from Pickering, arrested yesterday but released without charge, was back on the protest line today. Released without charge, you're back here today, tell me why. My, I feel vindicated, um, I did nothing wrong, I broke no law, I'm here to peacefully protest to protect my community. <laughs> Protester Lee Coghill was taken together with her chair when she refused to move. I've spent years fighting this. Um, through the planning process, through the courts, by lobbying the people that you're meant to lobby and no one's listening to us. Campaigners were also today allowed a slow protest, walking very slowly indeed in front of one convoy. Despite the actions of what turned out to be far fewer protesters today, trucks carrying materials onto the site did get through. Third Energy insist fracking, extracting gas, by injecting liquid at high pressure into underground rocks is safe. A final go-ahead from the government for fracking on the site could come before the end of the year. Chris Kiddy, ITV News, Kirby Mispeton.